focus. Uh, Joe Holtzman, Mission VAL. My question is one question. I'd like to direct it to the NRC. Greg, perhaps you take it, and maybe Mr. Dieter could take it. Uh, was there a failure mode effect analysis done on these designs before construction was started? Silence is happening. They look like they're asleep. Yeah. Like Greg said, uh, as part of the inspection process, we have a procedure that we implement for replacement steam generators. Uh, we, we reviewed in part the 5059s associated with replacement steam generators. Uh, we did not review it to the level of detail to determine if the uh, failure mode analysis was done. Uh, beyond that, uh, Edison, if they choose to reply, they can shed some light on Thank you. The steam generators were replaced using an engineering design change package, which does look at potential modes of failure of the steam generators, and it looks for understood or anticipated modes of failure. Included in our technical specification changes were two license amendments to change the plugging limits on the new steam generators compared to the old steam generators to move to a lower percentage of through wall wear to plug the steam generator too. So we did look at and analyze the potential for wear affecting our steam generators. That was documented in our engineering change package. A failure modes and effects analysis is traditionally done in our business associated with looking at a new occurring problem. So specifically to answer your question, uh, there was not a FMEA or failure modes effect analysis done per se. We are working through that as part of our solution set and problem solving situation. Thank you. 